Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Aries. This reading for today Aries, this is your weekly collective reading. Okay, let's look into love, career, finance, and general situationship. Let us see what's coming towards you, okay? Before I start, guys, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Aries, I invite you to also be part of my mailing list. To do that, the link is down in the description box below. I also have a new channel. We haven't uploaded a video in there because i'm really you know i'm wanting my voice to come back and heal but once my voice is okay i will be doing a daily collective reading okay so if you want to connect with me daily um daily basis um please be part of that channel okay so everything is down in the description box below so let's see what's coming towards you what is the message for this please Okay, let's get you one card for your overall energy. What can I get for Aries? Overall energy. Okay. You have the Magician card. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, because you, Jupiter is in Aries. Venus is in Aries. So, there is... A potential there's so many potential around you that you could you like everything around you is about expansion and I feel like this is this is the next I would say good five weeks to five months for some of you guys it's time for you to really expand you know exponential your your life but I really feel like with the magician card you need to strike you know with the magician card he has everything, the coin, the cups, the sword, the wand, okay? But he needs to strike. So with you, opportunities, offers, expansion, it's lurking around you. But you have to make the move, you know? It is, the magician card is also the card of manifestation. You're manifesting, I want this and that and this and that. But if you won't make a move, then your manifestation will remain to be just an energy, okay? So, for example, I want to lose weight. But if you're not going to the gym or if you're not very disciplined with your diet, it won't transform or it won't, you know, come to life. So, the universe is showering you with lots of support that, hey, do it. Hey, expand. Anything you touch from now onwards is going to expand, okay? But you have to put the seed. You plant the seed, okay? So just a reminder that if you would like to expand, you know, the universe is conspiring with you, Aries. Whether it's love, career, or finance. And I'm seeing 333. So you got to do it. You got to make the move, okay? Now, let's pick up more intuitive message for you, Aries. You've got here the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Um, you know, you've got this worries and concern when it comes to money, um, income, support, or it's more of reciprocal, okay? Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. With the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you are, you are you're going to a point where you need to be selfish, you know, would you like you need to be limited when it comes to the support you gave outside. You know, when I say support, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles, you work hard for your life, for your money. You work hard. So there's something that you're just giving away for free, whether it's love, money, support, time, energy, that is precious. You know, every energy you give away to somebody, to someone, to the world. You breathe, you know. You know, we, we, we breathe. You know, it, the breath is life. So when we breathe, we um, we produce energy. 
So every little thing that you give away, whether it's love, money, time, even if we reply a message, that's an energy. So don't just give it away for free or be selective of how much you're giving or whatever it is or whoever it is that you're giving or supporting because you're being taken advantage of or there's something I would say um, not fair. There's something unfair that is happening around you and you're being blindsided. You know, Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. You're working on behalf of someone or you're giving away something precious and you're not realizing that precious precious energy, time, love, effort is, 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 a, is very important to just give it away. Because Nine of Swords, you know, from 10 to 9, it, it's, it's, it's not getting better. This attitude, this mindset, it's not, it's not going to get you anywhere with the Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords. You don't, it's a feeling, you know, there's this saying that if you want to teach, like if you want to help, don't just give them the fish, teach them how to fish, okay? Because Eight of Pentacles, you work hard, I'll do it for you. Eight of Pentacles, you're doing all the work and then the finished product, you, you gave it away for free. So I want you to really value your time, your body, your, you, your, your time, yourself, your body, your resources, your love, because it's precious. Some of the people you are in connection with, they're not really uh, appreciating or... They're not valuing it because it's so easy to get or it's accessible. It's just so ready and they can pick it up anytime from you. So things will not get better for you if you are like a grocery store that's open 24, 24 by 7. In this world, you know, with you, pro bono is good, but you got you 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 have to have some reciprocality. You know, it's kind of reminding you of that because it's not getting better. You won't get it by being so kind and giving and giving, 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 giving. You got to have some balance with that. You got the high priestess with this manifestation in here. If you are manifesting love, unconditional love, you got to love yourself first. The reason why self-love is very important because if we love ourselves, we can create boundaries. We can identify um, what is real and what is not real. By loving ourselves, we can set, we can have a mindset of this is acceptable, this is not acceptable. Self love can also put the vibration up, so you can now tap into self confident, self integrity, and self responsibility. So if you want love, you gotta love yourself first. You gotta keep something for yourself first before you move out and give it away there's something in here Aries that it's a red flag it's coming to a point where there's nothing left of you and you still give it away or you know you're you're giving something and you haven't gotten anything in return and you're giving again okay it's a one way there's something in here that's just one way because queen of cups you want love and you believe that by, by, by doing this, you get love. No, if you want love and respect, you have to have boundaries and limitation. There is, there are some people that will only realize that if we have this rules or boundaries, you know, because we are all human, we get tired. We're not a robot that we're open to everyone else, that we're always at our best. There's going to be an important update, Page of Pentacles, I feel like it's coming from a person or a situation that gives you headache. It could be a lover. It could be related to work or money. But there is a message that will allow you to clear your name or to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion or to have an understanding of what really is happening between you and this person or a situation. Okay? There is an important conversation happening very soon. The death card. For some of you guys, this conversation, this is a this is a big deal. This is a very big deal conversation because you get the chance to clear your name, to air your side, and also for this person or situation to explain to you 
Why? I'm also seeing here forgiveness. I'm also seeing here Eight of Pentacles compensation. You will be compensated with something or you will get something back from someone. It could be love, it could be money, it could be time and effort, but surely is a you know queen of swords you will be in a position where they will discover that you are actually um correct you are in the position to demand you are absolutely the right person in the job in the place in the location but you are queen of swords you matter someone will realize that you matter with the knight of pentacles the king of cups this is where this person this person or this situation will realize Oh my God, Aries matter. We will compensate you. We will support you. I will look at you now with love and respect. So by having self-love, you create boundaries and then you put the vibration up and that is where you attract this conversation. This conversation is a big deal. Um, so please make sure that if you have this conversation, you are grounded, Queen of Swords. You're cool, calm, collected and grounded. Because this is a time where you can demand or ask for compensation, increase, uh, something in return. You know, and King of Cups, you have all the love. Something tells me that finally you're getting something, not by force or not by this. You're getting organically something by really pointing out how, like organically, someone will realize that you're so valuable or you've been so good, you've been so nice or... Someone will have a shake up and a wake up and wow, Aries is really important. So we got to give the love. We got to give the support. We got to compensate Aries. You got to get it. You know, something in here like tells me you have to get it. With all the love and the support and the amazing energy you shared towards this person or situation. Or you work hard. You work hard. It's time for you to get the reward or to be rewarded. It could be love because King of Cups in here. The, the king of cups looks like in love with you it could be money or it could be both but in the next two to three weeks it's your time to get it aries yeah that's the vibe it is time for you to get it to finally get that so focus on self-love focus on building a high vibration to tap into more grounded um more you know, more on boundaries. You know, sometimes if we set boundaries, that is we, that sometimes we can imply to the world that we have our rules and regulation. And if you want to have a taste of an Aries, you've got to comply with the rules and regulation. You know, it protects us, you know. So there's so much benefits on having self-love, okay? So thank you, Aries. It is a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I hope you've connected with me. I hope you like it. If you do, click the bell, click subscribe, and I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.